851, turn right, heading 180. Papa, turn right, 245, report established. The Airbus A380 is the world's largest passenger plane and for a decade has played an integral part in the success of airlines like Emirates. While efficiency has never been something the Airbus A380 has had in comparison to aircraft like the A350 and 787, it still cemented its place as one of the leading wide-body aircraft of our generation. So when Air France announced that it would half its A380 fleet, it did come as a shock to many, especially with the Airbus A380 playing such a critical role in most operators' operations. Why is Air France removing half of its A380 fleet? Tune into this video to find out. Air France currently operates just 10 A380s and in the coming year we'll see 5 depart. Its original order was for 12 A380s but it chose to use the remaining 2 orders for the A350 instead, a more efficient aircraft. Two of the A380s are expected to head back to their owners in 2019 as Air France chose to not renew the lease while the remaining three will gradually leave the fleet in the coming years, with the further two expected to leave in 2020. The plan for a while now has been to refurbish their Airbus A380s and introduce a new full flat seat which should help the A380s long term. However, the cost to do so is actually incredibly high. It will set back Air France 45 million euros, which is roughly US 51 million, to do one aircraft. With Air France's A380 product now being dated in comparison to what other airlines are introducing onto their own aircraft, refurbishing all 10 of their A380s would set them back a whopping US 510 million a figure which could actually allow them to purchase one new A380 outright or multiple other aircraft. The figure can come down drastically if they choose to keep just five, which they have now announced. Air France will look to pay US $255 million to refurbish their remaining A380s. This refurbishment has been a long time coming, but the airline has faced lengthy delays with strikes from employees happening this year. Air France plans to refurbish their first A380 in 2020, but have said that it will take them months, if not years, to complete all the refurbishments and tie that all in with their operations. In fact, the original article which noted that Air France would remove half of their A380 fleet said the lack of new cabin on the A380s have ended up tarnishing their reputation amongst regular customers, adding these aircraft have the highest rate of negative feedback among business travellers. This is where the Airbus A380 has thrived for many airlines. It's a popular choice for many travellers with the fantastic product that is on offer. Air France is feeling the pressure of their dating product, which in turn is turning off some of their customers, as you can tell from the reviews. They believe a refurbishment will be the key to getting people back on board their A380 flights, especially in the higher classes, which they see tickets sold for incredibly high prices. The other reason that has resulted in Air France removing their A380s is the operating costs. The airline has found that the 777-300ERs that they operate are actually a far better alternative than the A380s. The Dash 300ERs are configured to seat almost the same amount of passengers as what is found on the A380, and in addition to this, it's also considerably less expensive to operate. The decision to remove their A380s a few years ago would have been frowned upon, however now the industry is being hit by the higher than ever fuel costs, which have left airlines having to trim routes, cut aircraft and more just as an attempt to stay afloat. Refurbishment of its A380 was a priority all the way back in 2014, with the former Air France CEO announcing that these refurbishment plans would begin in 2017. However, in 2014, when the CEO announced this, the airline faced losses of almost 225 million euros. This was the first setback in a run of many, which meant it was simply not their first priority to refurbish these aircraft. It also does make a lot of sense that the airline removes five of its A380s, as these five the airline does not actually own, it has taken them on a lease. Similar to the Singapore Airlines A380s we saw return to lessers after they chose not to renew their lease in favour of new aircraft with new cabins. These are the two main reasons as to why Air France is planning on halving its Airbus A380 fleet. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in business, technology, and even aviation. Having used Skillshare before myself, I can confirm that this platform is excellent for learning about different topics. In addition to this, Skillshare is more affordable than a number of other platforms similar to it out there. 
Considering you're viewing an aviation channel, there are actually a number of courses on Skillshare that revolve around aviation and business. Not only can this sharpen your knowledge, but that knowledge can be applied to various situations, including if you work in the industry or, in my case, to these videos. I've learnt about market share and more through Skillshare and I'm now applying this knowledge to various videos. Take the Aviation Customer Service course as an example. With the number of lectures in place, Skillshare allows you to grow in various different fields, such as a check-in agent. And to the first 500 people who do sign up using the link in the description, you'll get two months of Skillshare Premium for absolutely nothing. Thanks once again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, and thank you very much for tuning into this video of mine. If you have any thoughts on the Air France A380 situation, or you have another reason as to why they may have removed the aircraft, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. I do very much look forward to you all joining me in the next one.